Now, it used to be if I gave a talk and I spoke about this, I'd be like, you know, who's heard this word before? And no one would raise their hand. And now it seems like almost everyone's heard of astrobiology. Um, but if you haven't, um, it is the scientific study of the origins, evolution, and distribution of life in the universe. But I like to rephrase that. For me, it really is our quest to understand the nature of life. What, what are we? I mean, the, the one thing that we share, you know, people say like we all share death or, or, you know, we all share dreams or all these kinds of things. What we all share is that we are alive. And believe it or not, we don't actually know what life is. We're still trying to figure out if we can even define life. And one of the hardest parts about that is we really haven't found alien life yet to compare things to. Uh, we need you know, some comparative biology to figure that out. But astrobiology is still a very active field, even though we haven't yet found the aliens. Um, it's still a very active field for us to explore more about our place in the universe. And so within astrobiology, we have things like origins of life studies, OOL. Uh, if you ever follow someone who does origins of life, you'll see them use that hashtag OOL on Twitter and things like that. This is us trying to figure out how does life start on a planet and maybe even how does life start on our planet? Uh, we don't know. Maybe life started on Mars or started on Venus and then came here later. Uh, maybe life began on Earth in the deep ocean or near hydrothermal vents uh, around hot spring environments at the surface. There are so many questions that we have. And sadly, I can tell you there's a very good chance we will never know how life started here on Earth for sure, because we've lost a lot of that geological record from the earliest periods when life was likely on Earth. Uh, our planet has a recycling system that processes the rock, and so it's very difficult to find ancient rocks preserving the oldest signs of possible early life. Um, one of the best places for us to look for that might actually not even be on Earth, but on our moon. Uh, sometimes through asteroid impacts on our Earth, it can launch rocks off the surface, and there could even be rocks sitting on our moon right now for us to go find that have ancient signs of the earliest life from Earth from long ago. Um, but that's a somewhat of, a, of an aside. Um, so in astrobiology, we have the origins of life, but also how life evolves with a planet. Life is something that doesn't just happen on a planet. It happens to a planet.